When it comes to Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins, there still exists questions but those questions stem from Deshaun Watson rumors. Is Watson the reason that the media continues to believe or regurgitate the idea that Tua is not the answer in Miami? It is easy to fall under the spell that after the season, the Dolphins may look again at that situation but what is happening now continues to boggle the mind. Recently a writer on NFL did an updated post-week 15 quarterback ranking and while we don't put much stock into the opinions of where players rank. Still, the notion that Mac Jones is this next great thing and Tua continues to need development is a growing issue to me. What has Jones done that is so special? Let's start with what Greg Rosenthal said about Tua before we jump to Jones. Tua is currently ranked number 20, one spot ahead of Tyler Huntley who has started one game after replacing Lamar Jackson due to injury. Rosenthal called Tua performance last week, very un-Tua, ultimately one of his worst. This is a game in which Tua had two touchdowns but also threw two interceptions. Rosenthal went on to say, I wonder if Miami coaches pushed Tua to take more chances, he wraps up his comments by saying that Dolphins' game-winning drive was almost all runs. He mentions nothing of the fact that Tua audibled to the touchdown play. I agree that the game was not one we have seen recently from Tua but he shouldn't be ranked at 20. Tua's 69.9% completion rating is higher than Teddy Bridgewater, Matt Ryan, Jalen Hurts, Carson Wentz, Jimmy Garoppolo, Ryan Tanhill, Russell Wilson, and Mac Jones. All ranked higher than Tua. In fact Tua numbers which are close to every other quarterback statistically comes in 10 games rather than the 14 that most of the other quarterback have started. When talking about Mac Jones, there are executives in the NFL that believe he should be the AFC Offensive Rookie of the Year. His 14 games include a 69% completion rate, 3,168 yards, 18 touchdowns to 10 interceptions, and 5 fumbles. Rosenthal opens his comments about the 12th ranked Jones saying that the 20-0 score was a good experience, and that his furious comeback in the 4th was something he did. He doesn't mention the two interceptions that Jones threw to his two touchdowns or the fact that the Colts were playing to protect a lead instead of playing the same way they were in the first three quarters. Rosenthal finished by saying that Jones didn't fold under pressure. That is great but Tua threw a pick six interception and on the ensuing drive led the Dolphins down the field for the touchdown. He also didn't bother to mention that while Tua can be faulted for the use of the running game on that game-winning drive but it apparently was oh. K that Jones threw only three passes in a bad weather game against the Bills? Not to take away anything from the Patriots, that was a well-executed game plan but let's be clear, Jones did nothing to win that game. It just seems that Tua can't rely on a running game, something he hasn't had all season long, but others can. Why the media dog on Tua is nothing short of crazy. The difference is that Jones plays for Bill Belichick and Tua plays for the Miami Dolphins.